After what seems like an age enduring the lockdown in England, Tony and I finally met in Battersea, London, as the lockdown restrictions finally started to be relaxed. Our goal was to shop for a few essentials for Tony before heading to Turkey. Our first port of call was Cotswold Outdoors, where we hoped to get Tony's sleeping system. The sales assistant, Ronnie, was a great help. Okay. So I'm Ronnie from Cotswold Wandsworth. Come here today to buy some stuff. So we started off with the Thermarest sleeping mat. It's a very good lightweight camping mat. Also it's self-inflating. And this is the three season sleeping mat. Petzl head torch at 300 lumens. So it's a really nice bright head torch with also a red light feature. So it's good for seeing in the dark and it doesn't mess your eyes up. Sleeping bag liner, especially if you're going to a hot climate. It's good just so you don't have to have a big sleeping bag with you. Also, there's some little tricks like putting it in water and it also keeps you cooler that way. A nice microfiber towel. It's good, dries quickly and it packs down quite smallly. Small and also it comes with a little elastic band which also helps you compact it a little bit smaller. And finally, a nice Roban sleeping bag. Nice down, got a nice fill right in. So in the summer, it's a nice compactable bag, but also in the winter, it's going to give you warmth. The next day, we were on our way to Heathrow, which was eerily quiet for our three hour flight to Istanbul. At Istanbul, we had a mind numbing nine hour wait for our flight to Dalaman. I managed a little sleep whilst Tony paced every metre of the airport, simply trying to pass time. Those nine hours seemed like days. Tony found an eco-cycle at the airport which provided us with a little bit of stimulation and fun before our flight. I should never do this. I've been helping Tony get his diet back on track with good wholesome recipes including Turkish classics. This is menemen. Bu menemen eee ilk önce soğanla biberi ince ince doğrayıp hafif kavurduktan sonra mantarımızı ilave ediyoruz. Sonrasında da domatesi ilave edip öldürdükten sonra en sonunda gördüğünüz gibi yumurtayı kırıp hazır oluyor. If you are cycling through Turkey, then make sure you take advantage of the markets packed with tasty fruits and vegetables. With the exchange rate at over 12 Turkish lira to the pound, you can literally buy a day's food for pennies. We had a great day with my daughter and her boyfriend at Yeshilvadi, a beautiful green tranquil valley near Yanikla.
our visit was finished off with Turkish chai. And our cycling, well, we've both been enjoying the beautiful loops of the Fetia Peninsula, simply breathtaking. to our channel and check back in a couple of weeks where we'll post another video about our progress.